Hello, this is Yukiko. I am a lonely person going my own way. Uh, I, I am not Miktao because uh, I like Miktao philosophy, but I am a woman, so uh, I, I talk about it, I, I learn about, about it, but uh, I'm not. So here today, today is the second time I talked with uh, labor union, which uh, only one person can join. And then uh, this labor union offers uh, phone conversation, like uh, uh, via line. Line, line app is very similar to Skype. So, which means that I don't have to use international calling card to call uh, this uh, labor union. And I, I appreciate they follow up with me. I told them that I finally received uh, uh, this, much, this much money in dollar, uh, it's paper, and this minus 29 is paper fee, <laughs> but I guess that's okay. And uh, yeah, the one hour rate is two dollars. It's a uh, uh, short-term rental, the Airbnb management company. So I am, a, I was a remote customer service, AKA, a ghost writer. I read and read and write uh, Airbnb and Booking.com message on behalf of the Airbnb host and Booking.com host. And uh, yeah, I asked uh, my question, I, I asked question to uh, labor union if uh, if I don't have to worry about this management company the Airbnb property management company they said uh, since I offended super host and then the management company got some uh, damage because of it and then of course the mr a uh, see i don't want to say ceo or president uh, he to me he is just a sweatshop owner mr a so let's say mr a and he he never explained what damage uh, I caused just because I yeah I offended the super host because I don't I don't have to tolerate their uh, verbal abusive language and if I am an independent contractor I can choose my day choose my time I can pause and stop working. And then, so Mr. A said, oh, I will, I, I will send you invoice because uh, why, why stands for Yukiko uh, caused, caused me a damage. And then, so yeah, to me, it's really, and then because super host and the sweatshop owner they are still good friend liking each other on, on social media so yeah which is why i uh, i stand up for myself and then request the payment again for my two month wage and uh yeah, the 
labor union said uh like uh what what we have what i have is uh like i didn't have a formal contract the sweet shop owner said oh can you work for me uh, two dollars per hour uh, he said that via uh line message and then and then the damage is not happening and they mr a doesn't tell me what the damage is causing because he and super host are still good friend and then moving on the i asked the uh, labor union uh yeah about the what to call personal information re revealing or exposing personal information which i haven't done it yet because i don't know if i can if i am entitled to do or not but i was curious because when i watch other labor union youtube videos and twitter uh, feed many people are exposing name of the company name of the ceo the picture of the uh, company location or building as if like a uh, uh, review on a uh, Yelp as if like a uh, restaurant review or something and uh, yeah that question uh, yeah, labor union and I didn't go for in-depth conversation about that but uh, yeah if I have subscriber who lives in Osaka and then chances are he or she maybe or maybe not uh, able to figure out which company I am referring to but see you know when this is not a uh, like a juvenile uh, detention like in Japan when the minor who is younger than 20 years old if the minor commit a serious crime and then the newspapers or magazines or TV only say uh, uh, they don't expose the name or picture I think which is why many minors crime go extreme violent because the when minor commit crime they can get away with uh, not revealing their face and names but this this uh uh short-term rental property management they are adult and other youtubers and when i look at twitter feed people are uh, exposing the name of the companies name of the ceos and stuff and yeah but uh yeah it, it's okay i i just I rather, like, to me, rather than pointing out this particular uh, company, the this particular agent, I rather raise general social awareness, the short-term rental management business could be shady, not just this company not just this, this company because yeah unfortunately the airbnb and booking.com in japan they are cheap they are cheap and then like they compete who offer cheap price and then when the 
one night fee is getting cheap, that would suffer the quality and like someone has to work on the minimum wage like I did so yeah uh, yeah yeah I am sorry for my English this is a little bit like uh, I, I I am not good at uh I don't have a uh, plenty of uh, legal terminology or uh, labor standard uh, terminology and I, I don't know how much I, I was able to uh, explain here but uh, I guess whoever who is uh, bilingual English and Japanese or Maybe my son might watch uh, this video and uh, he, he knows, uh, he's used to my English with Japanese accent and then he might, yeah, he need, someday he need to know what's the reality of Japan and the Japanese. So far, what he knows is Happy lucky YouTube videos, the fun fun stuff. But Japan can be a nasty place. The Japanese people could be nasty people. If if you were there at the wrong time or wrong reason or wrong uh area or what it's very tricky. So yeah, uh, thank you so much, and uh, uh, yeah, wish everybody uh, have a uh, good working environment. Thank you.